Welcome to HortTube, where we talk plants and planting. My name is Jim Putnam, and this is the Make Your Neighbor Go Away plant, Ligustrum recurvifolium. This is Ligustrum recurvifolium, a very fast growing leafy evergreen shrub that can be maintained about six feet high or allowed to get to 15 feet and uses a border between properties. Ligustrum is best in zone 7 to 11, probably can be tried in 6B and might take a little bit of winter damage on the top that can easily be pruned off every spring. Ligustrum recurvifolium performs well in the sun or the shade, but in the shade it could be a little thinner. And as an example, this plant right here, this is a 7 gallon one, and it's a little thin at the bottom because it's been grown very close together with other 7 gallon Ligustrum. All we'd have to do on this is take a little bit off the top and give it a little bit of space and it'll regenerate the growth at the bottom. If you have the option, depending on where you live, leafy evergreen shrubs like this Ligustrum are much better options for screening. They tend to get less disease problems, less insect problems. If you're using Ligustrum recurvifolium as a screening plant and you want to get rapid growth out of it, you could fertilize this plant twice a year, maybe mid-March and then again in mid-June with a slow release fertilizer. Prop brand probably doesn't matter, Osmocote would work, Hollytone would work. One of the main advantages to Ligustrum over some other choices you might use for screening plants is there's virtually no insect or disease problems. Occasionally we might see some scale insect on the back of the leaf in the lower, very bottom leaves where the wind's not blowing. It's really not that big of a deal. I don't rarely ever see any chewing insects chewing on these and these are pretty much deer proof. I sometimes see these planted on foundations on new construction because they're inexpensive at the nursery but this plant will get between 6 and 15 feet tall and quickly overwhelm any foundation and keep you pruning for a long time it's really not the appropriate use for it it is a beautiful lustrous green foliage and i can see what the appeal would be to having it as a foundation plant but this plant will just outgrow any space many times people plant and they put plants in too low or then mulch way up the trunks you'll see this plant will get planted flush and then the mulch will be here and then five years from now the mulch will be all the way up here and it's just not a good formula for growing healthy plants when you plant this leave it up a couple inches above the grade pull your soil up to the edge of it mulch you know we probably want at least a three foot ring after you've finished come back in here and just pull the mulch away right from the base once established these will not need additional water unless it's abnormally dry but while you're trying to create a screen you probably do want to give them some additional water because we're trying to create growth if they go through any kind of drought stress that will slow the growth here's a great example of a ligustrum recurvifolium screen unfortunately there's a big six foot weed in the way okay that's better as you can see these are almost 15 feet high now they've got these berries on them from where they flowered in the spring Big, beautiful screening plants, great visual screen, great noise border, great place for birds to nest during the summertime. So overall, probably one of the top screening plant choices. So what are you waiting for? Even you can grow Ligustrum recurvifolium. I'm probably gonna be asked to direct the next Star Wars after I make this weed disappear. Good place for birds to nest in the wintertime. The wintertime?